let's predict the winners of the NFL games using machine learning. So last week, the model didn't end up doing as well as expected. So it ended up blowing our overall accuracy but it's not that bad because it's still over 62%, which is quite decent for a model. And if you're here for the first time, our machine learning model actually uses something called an ensemble model, which utilizes four main algorithms, which are logistic regression, decision trees, XG boost, and random forests. And these four algorithms actually vote for which team it thinks is gonna win, and then the ensemble model chooses the best ones out of the four. And if I wanna make the predictions more accurate, I think it's better to start at the model instead of trying to change the data, which can cause a lot of different issues. So to do this, I changed the range of the number of trees, which were 50 to 200, and then I changed that to 200 to 500, which should increase the accuracy, but we still have a risk of something called overfitting. And this is basically when a model is trained too well on a set of testing data, and then when you try to apply that to the real world, it has a lot of issues. So in order to fix this, I changed the max depth of the tree to only 12, because if it went any deeper, then the model starts to conform a bit too much to the data and it struggles to make new predictions. And for the XGBoost algorithms, I actually made some smaller tweaks, which should just make the overall model a little bit more balanced. And after retraining the model on these new algorithms, here are all the predictions for week two. And if you wanna see how this model continues to change over time and see how it develops, make sure to follow along for the journey.